Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R1, Acumatica has made it easier for you to work with sub accounts. So normally when you create a journal transaction, you go in here and we add a record, we add a new journal line item, and we pick an account. Acumatica doesn't default to the sub account. And that's fine, you could pick all the different sub accounts you want. If it's an income or an expensive type account, then you probably want to pick these sub accounts manually. However, if it's a balance sheet account, this can be time consuming to have to pick these because you typically don't use them for balance sheet accounts, such as liability and assets. Having said that, Acumatica does have a default sub-account here. But what's new is under our chart of accounts, we have a new checkbox called Use Default Sub-Account. So if we were to go to some accounts and check off this Use Default Sub-Account, Acumatica now has a behavior, a specific behavior in journal transactions. So if we click on plus here, we'll do a brand new one. The very first line item that we use, if the chart of account is checked, go back, for using that sub account, it'll put it in automatically. And then every time you add a line item, regardless of what it is, so let's say it doesn't have the sub account, Let's say we pick this one, 16.4. Acumatica will continue to use the same sub account as a default. Now, if the first line item doesn't have one, you could put something in there, put an amount, but when you go to the next line item, Acumatica won't continue. It'll force you to put the sub account in there. So this kind of behavior makes it easy and fast to do journal entries, but to also get a default sub account when you need it. So the general ledger preferences houses the default sub account. And under chart of accounts, you could define which ones should use that sub account. And when you're in your journal transactions, assuming it's the first entry, Acumatica will continue to use that sub account each time so that you don't have any balancing issues when you're all said and done. So that's it. That's default sub account improvements, the general ledger section of Acumatica. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.